Hey you guys, it's me Jemaya and today's video I have a special guest and here she is Miss Layla and don't mind her she's standing on a lamp but it's okay so this is Layla and she is a lace closure wig and she is 20 inches as you can see I don't know if you can tell cut 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 Hey you guys, it's me Jemaya and I have a special guest today. Here she is, Miss Layla, yes. I don't even know what to say. She just speaks for herself like, look at this, look at this flow. She is a lace closure wig, as you can see. That's the lace, I did not bleach the knots. What you see on the closure is foundation. But I plan on bleaching the knots on this wig today because uh, I'm not really feeling the foundation. Like, the foundation really isn't matching my scalp like I thought it would. But I'm just going to get rid of that today. The hair that I used is the Elite Virgin Hair. And I made a review video on that. If you want to check that out, leave that somewhere over here or maybe in the description box. Um... The hair is 20 inches long, so compared to me, she comes right about here, see, right about there, and what else I want to say, the hair is a natural 1B color, but the lace closure is a 1 color, and I don't know if I mentioned, but the closure is not from the same company. This closure is actually from the Beauty Supply Store, and I think it's by Outre, and it's a color number 1, and the closure is not virgin hair, despite what it says. It's not virgin hair. I believe it's just regular, regular Remy hair, so yeah, it's not virgin hair, but it blends in perfectly it's very smooth it looks like natural hair so it blends in very perfectly um it doesn't have a problem with you know once you wet it it doesn't change textures or anything because i did wash the hair after i got it out the package and whatnot um the curls do stay in there for a very long time i haven't put this wig on my head for about like two weeks and i curled it like two weeks ago and the curls are still there so you know like this hair holds a curl really really nicely so that's what it's looking like um what else i want to say um i don't know let me just take it off for you guys i have it secured down with some t pins i think that's what you call them just wig pins am i still recording yeah i'm still recording okay let me just take it off and take this one off oh y'all y'all like her makeup i did it yeah she got her eyebrows on fleek her little Eyeshadow on one night. Yes, I had to hear on So, here is what she looks like off of the mannequin. And let me flip it inside out real quick. So, as you can see, this is how wide the lace closure is. And as you can see, you can see like the makeup that I put on it. And it's kind of coming off, but it really doesn't matter because I'm about to take it off in a minute because I'm going to bleach it. And, um, you can also see how I, you know, just applied the tracks onto the cap. And the cap that I used was a fashion spandex cap. I didn't use a, uh, a dome cap because I didn't want that thick band around the perimeter because it was going to just make it harder for me to sew and it was going to be tight around my hairline. So I just didn't want that right there. Um, 
I do plan on inserting clips into the wig so I can secure it on my head. Um, when I do wear it, I just use life hands to secure it down to my head, but I just want something, you know, more secure. So I'm just, I'm just gonna insert clips onto the wig. And what else, what else? Um, the hair really doesn't have beards at all. No beards anywhere. So yeah, that's basically what she looks like now i'm about to take off my bonnet now i do not want you guys talking about me because i know i look really really crazy really really crazy but i'm about to just take it off i'm also recording yes okay <sighs> they say i'm crazy the way you got me up now i made a mistake and went in and told my cousin to braid my hair like this when actually i should have parted my hair down the middle and then sectioned out my leave out and had her braid the hair down the sides like this and like that I don't think it's gonna be such a problem but I'm just gonna put it on just to show you guys how it's gonna look in just the 360 of my braid that's what it look like basically um so yeah I'm just going to put her on Oh, I forgot to show you guys how I cut my lace. Um, I cut my lace in a triangle. As you can see, it's not straight across. And the reason why I didn't cut it straight across is because um, it makes it look more natural. So if you can see, it's cut in a triangle. Not okay, so sure I just that. finished bleaching the closure, and this is how it looks. All of the makeup is off of it, and it looks much more, you know, natural than it did. I also tweaked some hairs out of the closure. Where's my comb? Hold up, let me get it. Hold up. This on the floor, I'm trying to pick it up my foot. <laughs> okay, I got it. Um, basically, this is how it looks. I have to press my hair so my hair can lay down and look more, um, you know even with the part but once it lays down it will look something like this and it will look pretty natural so yeah i think i'm about to curl it or something i don't know if it's ugly <laughs> i think i'm about to curl it or something but i have to flat iron the first because it's super super thick and it's like kind of bulky and i don't want to cut it so i don't know what i'm gonna do with it yeah okay so this is a close-up in the parting mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, like I was talking about, the way I cut the lace is in a V. I still don't know if you can tell, but let me see. But you see, like, it's not straight across. It's like a V shape. And I did bleach the closure, but I don't know if the knots is supposed to look still like that. But I'm going to have to go over that and bleach it again. But it did just take off all the makeup that I had on the closure, which is good. Um... It's not really a problem because it did blend into my scalp, so I'm not really, you know, tripping about that, but, um, I do wish the knots would have took to the bleach, but I'm gonna have to do it again. Um, but yeah, I just have to, you know, style her now because she was just laying on my bed like this and the cap was still wet and now her hair just sticks up like this, so I have to get her together. <laughs> okay, so excuse the sound, you might be able to hear my fan because I'm like literally right next to it, but I just wanted to show you guys the luster of the hair and how shiny it is. And this is how shiny it is. It's very, very beautiful. I love the luster of this hair. Now all I did was um, co-wash this hair with the uh, Wearless Hydration Coconut Water Conditioner by Organics. And this is what it looks like. 
Pizza. the clips on this wig is not going nowhere like look at this um, mm, mm, mm. it's not going nowhere but what I did use is um just some body cams I don't show you I have two different I, I have two different types of body cams I have one long one and one short one the short ones I use two one right here and one right here just to secure down the closure and make sure it's really flat and then I use one one like right over here I don't know if you guys can tell but it's like right there and I use another one like right here just to secure um the wig down basically that's like above my ears but yeah that's what I did and the wig is not going anywhere I wound curl the hair with my um curling wand right here um I have a tutorial on how I curl my hair with the curling wand so you guys can look at that for reference um but yeah, the hair is really big because it's really thick and I just love the hair like I just love it right now. And some olive oil heat protection serum before I blow dry the hair. And yeah, this is how the hair turned out. It's really, really pretty. And it's really, really soft. And you might be like, why do you have straight pieces? That's my leave out. I'm gonna show you that how much hair I left out. Yeah. This is my leave out right here. As you can see, leave out right here. And as you can see, that's where the closure starts right here. And this is some of the closure here. But I have it like laying down so it can blend in with my hair and just, you know, just make it look like I don't have a closure right there. And here's the closure. So anyway, right now, what I'm about to do is just blend my hair in with the hair. And I could, you know, curl with my curling wand, but I would rather just use the flat iron, so I'm about to just curl it. And I already put my heat protector. I used the um, uh, organic root stimulator heat protector. Am I still recording? Yeah. Okay. Just gonna twist this back. So I basically have to curl my weave out off camera because my flannel was acting dumb. Like, it was just acting like it didn't want to curl right. So I had to do it off camera. So I didn't want to take up any space or anything. But, yes. I'm just loving this. Like, I'm so happy. Like, I can't believe I did it myself, but I did. It looks like a sewing, but it's not. It's not a sewing. It's the wig. I don't know if I showed you guys a close up of my closure, but here's a close up. to drop so it won't look so you know Diana Rossi oh my god <laughs> I'm sorry I just 
to have my hair just looking bleak. I just can't go out here looking crazy. But anyways, yeah, after I do that, now let's go on to the edges. Like this video.